Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you haven't subscribed yet I'd love it if you would. Sorry I was missing folks, we've been having a bit of a heat wave in the UK and we don't cope with heat very well, especially me, I hate the sun, I'm allergic to the sun. So, but it's a lot cooler today, thank the Lord. Um, I wanted to do this one before it got so hot and I had it in bit shoot obviously because someone on Lisa's thread said could I stick it over there for some reason so it obviously is worth a look and when I read the title it was like yeah I want to know what the compromise was our story of compromise yeah our, our story of John compromising yet again probably but it wouldn't play in bit shoot so we're going to do it on YouTube so shall we jump into it Hello. Don't you just love it when all it does is twirl? Nicest guy to work with. Oops. <laughs> hey, Lisa, have you been drinking in the afternoon? What the hell? Dancing? When have we ever seen Lisa dance? Yeah. <laughs> Is this why they wanted me to keep it? It's me and today <laughs> I'm going to tell you it's all about practice what you preach with me today because I look at myself in the mirror. I don't feel good. I'm getting my hair done today. And so I usually would have washed it last night. So it is oily. I don't know if like the that Shea Moisture. Can they normally wash your hair at the hairdressers? It's not the whole point of going to get someone to give your head a deep clean. I love someone else washing my hair. Well, I did when I had hair. I don't shave it off now don't I but does what's her name begins with an M Morgan does Morgan not wash your hair Lisa conditioner just made it oilier than usual I did put some what is that stuff I like the cocktail stuff triple sec <laughs> cocktail anyway I put some of that in there and I don't it I just don't like it but I know that I'm getting it done today. I might actually get a blowout. I'm kind of craving a blowout. So anyway, then I was thinking, oh my gosh, you put this dark crease color on. Who craves a blowout? The only time I ever went to the hairdressers, and I was so spoiled, I went a few times and then we had a friend of ours that isn't talking to me anymore. <laughs> anyway, she used to do my hair. And then when I moved to North London, I made friends with a girl and she was a hairdresser and she always did my hair. So I can't imagine craving a blowout. I used to just want my hair cut or highlighted or whatever. I could wash it myself and blow dry it myself. I wanted someone else to do the things I couldn't do. Now she's moaning about her crease colour. It's the first time she looks like she's actually wearing makeup and she, of course she doesn't like it. Oh, now you need your lashes but I am not going to be weak and put my lashes on because I would rather be able to show you this this little portion of the today's video please hang with me because there's much more this little portion of today's video is sponsored by City Beauty I've had the nicest mm. guy to work with that asked me to show you guys some of their products and I have been so impressed with him the company and the products don't you just hate it when they say oh i've been working with you've been talking to i hate that fucking expression and they all say oh when you go to the shop oh they were lovely to work with you went shopping you weren't what Ugh. i'm gonna speed this up folks because i can't be doing with the hard sell 
Matter of fact, this gloss right here is what I have on and Brooke keeps bugging me. When are you going to do that video so I can take that gloss? <laughs> and if you aren't familiar with City Lips, they do plumping lip glosses. So I wanted to use everything and they do some skincare. I wanted to use everything just a little while before I showed it to you so I can tell you what I thought. So they were nice enough to send me the Uplift Firming Serum. I feel like my lips are so big and it does not burn. It is not like Too Faced Lip Injection. It is not. What is another? I feel like my lips are so big. That's because they are. <laughs> Had you forgotten you'd injected them? They're huge. One that is just, the, it doesn't even um, burn as bad as the MAC um, plump, plumping glosses. It, right when you first put it on, you can tell just a little bit of a little bit of a sensation. And I did put everything on this morning, the amount of time that you're supposed to. Like the multi-action sculpting cream, I put that on, put it on, and then I went outside and sat on the back porch and did kind of like my little morning routine. And I did what they said. I used an upward motion, gently massage a quarter size amount into skin until completely absorbed. Apply twice a day as a less step to your skincare routine. So I used this as a primer. And I actually, it comes with this little scoop, but I just used, you know, I always use what's on the lid until it doesn't have anything on it. And I could tell, I had forgotten about it because I went outside and was, had this harebrained idea for this video that I'm doing today. And you'll, all this will make sense in a little while. And I could feel, I felt like I felt this plump up. I don't know. I mean, who knows? I'm not here to tell you. This is some miracle, but I'm just saying when I came back inside, I had kind of forgotten about it and I kind of felt like this either tightened or plumped up. Okay, I also use the Uplift Firming Serum on my neck. I would say I like the cream better just because I'm a cream person. I'm not the biggest serum person. So that's what I liked better out of those two, the mascara. This is why I did not put on false lashes because there's no doubt about it. I love lashes. I just think they make the biggest difference. It's not hard for me and I just enjoy wearing them no matter where I'm going. But I wanted you to be able to see this mascara. This is, I think, the third time I've worn it. And Anyone else falling asleep? God, she's boring. I don't care. I want a miracle serum for my neck though, but no amount of serums or creams is going to do anything. It's genetics and your weight. And I lost a load of weight, so now I've got a wrinkly neck. So it's like Lardy says the same thing. It's fat or wrinkles. <laughs> You're going to have one or the other. I love it. I will try to zoom in. So I don't know if you can see, they are so, now they're not, let me see what it says it's supposed to do. Beyond mascara, volumizing. Well, they're so, oh no, but they're not. Um, let, okay. me, let you, me read off the tube. If you like, if you like what I like, if you like Dior pump and volume, if you like uh, Bobby Brown, smoky. Look at all the red marks on her lips. Has she just recently had her lips inflated and now she's trying to say it's the lip gloss that does it? Because we all know you tell the truth. <clears throat> Eyelash. If you like, and it's if better than Cover Girl Lash Blast. If you like Lash Paradise, it's better than that too. Because it has a similar wand, I think, as Lash Paradise. On oh, see how there is mascara, literally, you know, like going from the bristles to each other. That gets on your lashes. And it goes all the way to the end. So it What is she even saying? Look how there's mascara on every every bristle. And that goes on to your lap. Yeah, that's the same as every fucking tube of mascara that's ever been fucking made. In Christendom. What is she trying to say? God, you're not selling it, Lisa. Really, you're not. Lengthens too. And then we have these lip glosses. So I've already told you how much I love the clear one. And the clear one is what I have on. I put it on before I went outside to sit. I usually sit outside for about 30 minutes. And I put on my makeup. I have on Estee Lauder and the powders that I normally do because I wanted you to be able to look at my face and be able to tell. And so I put this on before I went outside, put my makeup on. I'd already washed my face. And then I kind of wiped, took a wet washcloth, wiped what I had left of this on so I could get the, um, not mascara, but the foundation off. And I reapplied this. And I was just so surprised at the color it gave my lips. I guess because it like stimulates your lips and it pulls, you know, the hyaluronic acid and just the moisture. And Hyaluronic. There's an L in there. It's not hyaluronic. It kind of, in a, in a non-irritating way, it, what it does is it kind of irritates your lips, just like rubbing them or anything else would do. And so I was pretty daggone impressed with that. So I'm going to wipe this off and we're going to try my favorites so we no you're going to apply the lip gloss to show us what it looks like we are not putting it on this is a thing she does all the time we're doing this we do that blah 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 i buy all this stuff for you no you don't you buy all this that you would be buying all that stuff if youtube didn't exist you were doing it before youtube it's my job no it's not you're obsessed with buying makeup and you thought, oh yeah, this is cool. I can pretend I'm doing it for them. When do you ever buy anything outside your comfort zone to try to see what it's like for people watching you? You don't. Therefore, you're doing it for yourself. Nobody else, just you. I cannot help but to want to go to this one first. And there are some matte 
Like this is a matte and this is a matte. And you can tell because it's in a frosty tube. I'll try one of those and then I'll try one of the creams and then one of the shimmers. So out of the two creamy ones, I'm gonna try the lightest one. That's so pretty. That is so gorgeous. I love that it is not too opaque. I love the wand. So let's put what's on the other side. I love that. I think that is the perfect amount of nude lip. I will write them down in order or list them in order because they were so generous. This is another thing that really impressed me. They're giving us a 25% off coupon code for the rest of September and then it goes to 15% in October. So that was Tokyo Kiss. Okay. How much are they? It's all about good and well saying you're getting 25% off, but if they're 30 pound a, a tube, who's going to pay that? So let me try to get this one off. Okay, I think I got rid of Tokyo Kiss. I can't help it. We're going to have to do this one too. This one is pink nude. If I just have some Kleenex up to my lips. Okay. Okay. This one is more opaque. But it's still, when I put my lips together, it's still a good one. I use all my real estate. Gorgeous. I use all my real estate. Does anyone say that? Have I been hiding under a rock? I use all my real estate. What the actual fuck, Lisa? Talk like a human. Yes, I am so glad that I swatched this one. Okay, you guys, I don't even want to put on another one. Okay, I'm going to hold this one out. This goes with my vibe. Okay, this goes with the messy, dirty hair and the dark crease color. Because it's when you have this dark, it's good to do this light. Otherwise, unless you're going for the supermodel look, which you know I love too. Next favorite would be this one, and it is Nude York. These are like made for me. This one's going to have a sparkle. Peachy sparkle. Beautiful. These are the kind that you do this. You get it on your brush, and you always put some up here. Like that, and that, the way your lips will go back, and the way that looks will just make your lips look even more full. They're all good. So she has differing ways of applying lip gloss depending on the lip gloss. I can't imagine having all that shit sitting in my head how to apply lip gloss if it's a pinky nude how to apply the lip gloss if it's a peachy pinky nude with sparkles how to apply that really lisa what goes on in your head nothing obviously little birds are in there tweeting there's fuck all happening what's that saying the lift doesn't go to the top floor i think the lift's broken i think it moves at all <laughs> I just love it. So that is New York. This one is one of, like, one of my old school colors. This one is called San Diego. And it is one of those, I would still say it's kind of like a peachy pink, like a warm pink, a pink with gold shimmer. When are you going to get to the Beautiful. compromise? So pretty, you guys. And they feel so good. They do not hurt my lips. And I feel like my lips are this big, you know? Because they, they just, are. I think what they do is like. <laughs> they feel like that because they fucking are. Jesus. Plump them out. To, like they pull out the wrinkles. That's what they do. I'll do the lightest one first. What wrinkles? Is, I'm what? sorry. If you're paying fucking hand over fist to have shit pumped into your lips to make them 75 times the size they are, you shouldn't have any fucking wrinkles. If I was paying for lip plumpers and I had wrinkles, I'd ask for a fucking refund. What wrinkles? I don't have fucking wrinkles in my lips and mine aren't plumped to buggery. What are you doing? Rose, they really, I really think they chose some good tones. Definitely opaque. Not bad. So I just put it on the bottom and I, what do they feel like? Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, I need to, so you can see how that being over there makes my lips look wider, my mouth look wider. That is beautiful. If you like a liquid lip look, that is beautiful. It is very, with liquid lips, you have to have one that isn't streaky. The one that goes on like this, and see what I do is, you can feel it dry now. What I do is fold my lips like that, or open them. Fold I was, them. I, I fold my lips. <laughs> I pay money to see you folding your lips. And I get in any of those crevices. Beautiful. I mean, if you like this look, which I do sometimes, I do, especially like, I'm thinking black letter moto. Okay, the last one, which I would say is the so, does anyone put that much thought into getting dressed and putting makeup on? Really? Don't, don't, 
don't you just get up get washed get dressed throw your makeup on leave the house do you really plan it a month in advance what lip gloss is going to go with your black moto jacket that's going to go with really nothing happens in her head it's all what am i wearing today and what makeup am i putting on that's it that's all she thinks about nothing else and people keep saying oh she's such a good pet mom and she looks really loves her family bollocks no john's the one holding that house together not her darkest one but it's still not like dark dark it's called rosie mauve this is the kind that's good to even line with i'm gonna be careful gonna be careful it's a fucking lip gloss you can wipe it off i like that one that's so pretty beautiful oh my gosh you guys that color is gorgeous i had only tried the um just my typical i had only tried like a sparkle one and a the, one of the nudie ones oh my goodness that is so pretty should i leave that on i think i'm gonna leave this on just because just because i'm gonna go outside the theme of this video it's not really the theme of this but a little part of this video is going outside your comfort zone so i'm gonna keep this on just because so thank you so much to city beauty for being so generous with me and with us the crazy part i know you're wondering did i lose my mind the crazy part in the beginning yeah we, we were well i'm i'm speaking for myself here i thought you'd lost your mind to be fair i thought you were drunk or high or something of this video is all about tomorrow's video so if you want to know what that was all about then stay tuned for tomorrow's video today we're going to talk about oh so now we're not even going to find out why she was dancing around oh great and i don't know what tomorrow's video is is it actually the one that... I'm going to have to go and look now, aren't I? <laughs> I'll have a look and see if she says, and then I'll add this up, that on, add it on to the end. So, you know, we're not sat here all night wondering what was that about. I was looking through, I think I was putting one of my videos in a playlist, and I need to just revamp those playlists. I saw Happy Marriage, the playlist for Happy Marriage, and I thought, you know, I need to pick up on that and kind of just include that into just, you know, things that I've been through and things that I just want to tell you about, I guess stories of my life, you know? And so I was thinking today would be a great time right after I posted our Coastal Dream House video. By the way, I hope everyone knows and I hope I made it clear, I feel bad about this, but I, we are not building on that water. The neighborhood we're building is right there, everything I showed you. We could never afford now that land right on the water. I mean, it's millions. I don't know if I'd want to be like right on that water just because of hurricanes and stuff. So we bought as close as we could. We are right behind the clubhouse. So hopefully we, we've positioned our house on the lot and the way the lots are you know, set, I'm hoping to have a great view of the pool and the clubhouse and marina. I've always told you guys how much I love marinas and just the sky looking that way is so beachy and so beautiful and bright and the air and the breeze, it is amazing. It is a glorious feeling just to be down there. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. I'm just excited that I'm going to live in a neighborhood that is on the water and that sidewalk I was on that's going to be my loop that I walk every day and so of course we're excited but what I want to talk about is the compromises and I guess that's the word I want to use today is compromise the art of compromise and when has Lisa ever compromised on anything ever mm. and so I wanted to just kind of go through what we've been through to get to this point of happiness, enthusiasm. I mean, we're excited. And, you know, best of all, and for the first time in this whole house hunting, even thinking about a house experience, we are on the same team and we're on the same page and we're dreaming the same dreams and we're talking about the same things. Thought about that this morning when John came up and I thought, you know, I want to talk about that. Okay, so when we first started thinking about getting a new house, because we really never had thought about it, and in the last, I guess... Until I saw somebody on YouTube that had a new house, and I got really jealous of them, and I said, John, we should have a bigger house because I'm a huge YouTuber now, and I need a kingdom, so get looking. This probably since Brooke has graduated and gotten older, and since John, he is 10 years older than I am. I just turned 50. He will not turn 60 until January, but we're basically, you know, almost 10 years apart. And so, you know, life has seasons and we're entering a different season. To me, that means, like I've told you, pursuing my dreams, what makes me happy, and you- Pursuing my dreams, what makes me happy oh she's not a narc though no you're entering another season most people entering that season when their kids are graduating and moving out they downsize you don't need to downsize because 
your house isn't that huge. So you could have stayed in the house you were in. But no, you bought a bigger one. How does that compute with your time of life? I don't understand. YouTube is a big part of that. Now I'm letting myself have a little part, just a little part of my importance. You know what I mean? And I think that comes with your 40s. You know, my children... Fuck off! Are you going to say, oh, this is my time now. I de de devoted my life to my children and now I get to do what I want to do. Bollocks! You never devoted your time to them children or your husband or the house. You went out to eat every night of the week. You had cleaners cleaning the house. Nobody was allowed to breathe when you were doing your Friday haul video. You forgot to buy Will back to school clothes. When did you ever devote your time to them? Ever? Children just don't need as much of my time. So I actually have some time that I can dedicate to what I love and what I'm passionate about. In this new season of our life. I can have some time to dedicate to, well, you've been doing that already. Me time. They know when I shut the bedroom door, it's me time. They know when I'm filming my videos, it's me time. When is it their time ever? I remember Will at the bottom of the stairs from the frog room asking you for food because he was starving and there was nothing in the house and you were like oh I need to finish my video we'll get something to eat afterwards yeah you really looked after them all didn't you and had no time to yourself at all ever life John is tired of taking care of the yard we we, you know, we had this yard and we loved the trees. Now we're kind of like over the trees because we've just had to keep raking up leaves and paying for them to get taken down after a hurricane, you know, stuff like that. And we used to have a big swing set and a big trampoline in our backyard. And, you know, we loved it. Kids were going up and down the road. Our kids were outside until it was dark. And we're just in a new stage. We both kind of you know we're entertaining the idea and the first place we started with was landfall because john loves to play golf and i wanted a gated community we went to a real estate agent there and we looked around and we just in our price range it was just you were definitely paying for the neighborhood and you know then john realized well you know, even if I could play here every day, are my friends going to want to come and pay that big amount? I mean, you know, are we going to want all these rules and, you know, bylaws? And are we going to want to live here? And, you know, it started a lot of doubts. So we kind of chilled for a while. Then uh, coronavirus hit. And I remember telling my mom, Phew, I'm glad I don't have any great big house payment right now. You know, I'm glad... I'm in my comfort zone, basically, which we were. But it was basically because we couldn't find anything in our price range that we liked. And we kind of felt the new, the mystique, you know, kind of came off of that neighborhood. We went through that. Okay, then came, you know, I told you I was going to tell you about the storage building. Okay, so then I thought, okay, I asked John, I said, would you care if I got a storage building? And he said, no, I think that's a good idea. And so that was a little compromise in our minds. I rented a storage building, which was a great thing. I mean, really, that was a great compromise. And I still have stuff I'm taking up there until we move. Right around this time, I... Having a storage unit would be a compromise if you weren't moving. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be the thing? Do you know what? This house is fine. It's plenty fine and soon the kids won't be here and we'll have a bit more room. So in the meantime, I'll rent a storage unit and I'll put all my extra shit in there. That would be a compromise. I don't get what she's getting at. How is... Oh, whatever. I'm driving by this new neighbourhood when I'm coming home. This was right around the end of school, before school got closed, for the pandemic 
and I notice a sign and one of those little trailers they put up for like a new neighborhood and it's going down this road that I probably had never been down. I knew that the water way was down there but I had never been down that road but the sign looked so nice and everything looked really nice so one day I told John I said let's ride up and just see what that is and that is the first time we ever discovered our new neighborhood that we're building in and it was very very I mean it looked like nothing they had the clubhouse built but not furnished or open I don't think there was maybe two houses but the the streets weren't open and just it was very very it was they were having to stall because of the virus but those oak trees and that water view is intoxicating as soon as you come down the road and you see it we fell in love and we couldn't quit going there so we talked to the guy that worked there and we we weren't sure all along you guys know i have just always loved that neighborhood that i took you to which was parkside and i knew of autumn hall which is the one that i showed you in the video but i never thought we could afford autumn hall or i never thought john would look over there and i even told you in the video john doesn't want to live here so we have this thing going where he really loves the neighborhood on the water and I did too but I didn't want to build right off the bat I didn't see a house plan that I wanted and it's a little it's 10 minutes further away from my parents really 10 minutes a whole 10 minutes you do know, Lisa, that there's people in the universe that live thousands of miles apart from their parents. There's people your age whose parents are dead. They don't get to see them at all. And you're creating about 10 minutes. Fuck's sake. Well, he didn't want to live in town. He didn't like houses that, that, that were that close together. And, you know, there were things he didn't like. Nick, 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 can you hear that in her voice? See, this is the things people miss. I was ta oh, bum. talking to somebody in the comments. And can I remember their name? Can I hell? Sorry. And then, before I went to sleep last night or the night before, I watched Faking It, the Jimmy Savile story. And they said exactly the same thing. Narks tell you who they are and what they're like but you need to listen and people don't listen to Lisa there's a few of us that have her sussed and then the majority think she's a nice southern lady just listen to the throwaway comments the change in her voice it's like that day she drove home from somewhere she wanted to drop something off and then she was going out again doing a car vlog and she drove in and there was a, a box on the porch and she nearly lost her shit. Oh my God, what's John buying now? Oh, how very dare he actually spend some of his money on himself. What is he buying now, says the woman who buys shit day in, day out. But yet you all think she's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Just then there, she went, he didn't want, he didn't want, he didn't want. Yeah. Rewind it. Listen to her. Her voice changes. The demeanor changes. But I'm in the wrong. Okay. So here we are. We both, we love each other so much. <laughs> we respect each other's opinion, but we're really two different people. And that really makes us get along. Most of the time, we kind of even each other out. But we're both at the age we don't want to give in that much you know we're just kind of like we want what we want and we know you know life is short and we need to grab it while we can and so here goes the compromise he compromised and we looked at those neighborhoods we called our agent again gwen and we said we want to look again okay in between this you guys know we almost bought a house in another golf, 
another golf place and another gated community. I think we both knew at that time we were settling. And I'm so, I feel like we dodged the biggest bullet. But that taught us something too. And what that taught us is don't settle. That's when we came home, we thought, okay, that's it. We're going to wait until we agree, we can afford what we want, which we could always afford it, but you have to be willing to do it. And we thought we're going to just fix up this house and enjoy it. So we did that and we've enjoyed it and we don't regret anything. But when you start getting into how much like to redo a bathroom is like 20 to $25,000 and the mess and inconvenience, you know, then the shine starts wearing off of the renovating. Back to, he looked at those places and I know in my heart, if I would have looked at him at that house and said, I want this, he would have done it. But something inside of me said, we need to go back and we need to look at that neighborhood that John loves. And we did, and I, had this feeling of peace come over me because nothing had ever felt right. I mean, I could have been a brat and forced him to move to any of those neighborhoods. What do you mean I could have been a brat? You usually are a brat, whinge and whine and get your own way. Is this the one time that you decided not to bother? Because you realized you'd get a better house there, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or not even forced him, but really, really told him this is what will make me happy this is what i want but every time do you see that little act there she is showing you what she does to get her own way but nobody sees it this is what i want this is what will make me happy you just know she's done that stamped her feet had a toddler tantrum and john's just gone oh for fuck's sake have it then something felt weird and I just couldn't you know get into it and so when we went back to that neighborhood it was just like oh my gosh okay it's in the same wonderful school zone it's beautiful it's what John likes and best of all Gwen our real estate agent found a house plan that was, when she brought it over here, she said, Lisa, this is going to be perfect. You are going to have your whole upstairs. You're going to have the biggest room. You're going to have a closet. You're going to have a porch. And it was just like, oh my gosh, this plan is made for us. We went and walked. No, Lisa, this plan is made for me so that I can have my upstairs kingdom. I can have the entire upstairs of the house, which could have been a great chill out zone foosball table cinema room you name it for all of you to sit down of an evening with some popcorn and and have some family time but no you've claimed it as yours okay fair enough claim it as yours and keep all your shite upstairs but no you've still got closets downstairs full of shit and the bathroom's full of your crap even though there's a bathroom upstairs and Apart from any of that, you're now filming downstairs. So why do you need upstairs as well? If you're going to film at the fucking dining table, let John have upstairs for fucking, I don't know, watching porn. <laughs> Who cares? Why do you take over the entire fucking house? You wanted the upstairs, you got the upstairs, and you're still not fucking happy. You want the rest of the house as well. In it, and it just came together like nothing. I mean, we are so on the same page. We are so united. We're so on the same team. We've got my parents with us, and the kids are excited about their new rooms, their new bathrooms, and it's all just perfect. Yeah. But yet again, Will didn't get his own bathroom, did he? No. His is, a, his is the one that, if anybody visits, uses. His is the one that's next to John's office, so John will probably use. 
His is the one everyone in Christendom uses and he doesn't have anything to himself, does he? But you have two bathrooms. Perfect. I'll wrap this up because I know this has been forever. Always compromise. When you love your spouse, there's more. Fuck off telling me what to do with my spouse when you couldn't give a flying fuck for yours. You can sit there with the smile on. Yeah, we compromised. You got what you wanted. So you were happy. And John was happy with that. If you hadn't liked that area or that house plan, you wouldn't have been compromising, would you? More than love. To love someone, anybody can love someone, but you have to respect them. And you have to respect their differences. You have to think. I mean, like even if their differences get on your nerves, you have to think about the things that and who they are that make you love those things that get on your nerves. You know what I mean? Just value that other person enough to compromise. And so... Really? Is anybody buying this? Because I'm not. Utter bollocks. So that is my little compromise story of the day. I'm sure that you guys have been through this before. And I've been through it before where it didn't work out well. I think a lot of it comes with maturity. So that's why I wanted to share my story with you. This gives you a little background too into what's been going on around here. Sharing more of my life with you. And um, so I feel certain you've gotten a good grasp of my outfit of the day. I wore this on purpose and I will tell you all about it in tomorrow's video. See you then. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go and see what tomorrow's video was and if she said it and if she does, I will be back. So this was what she said. Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Thursday. Welcome back. I have been looking forward to this video ever since yesterday when I made that crazy video or the crazy intro. Just couldn't wait to explain to you why I did that because I know you were thinking, Lisa has lost her mind. What the heck? The reason I did that is yesterday when I was thinking of things I just want to talk to you guys about and things in my life that have just helped me so much and just things I want to share with you. One of those things is confidence. Having the confidence to go for the things that you want in life. We all want different things. So no matter what it is, it seems like you need some amount of confidence to break down those barriers or jump those hurdles and get to the thing that you want. So today I'm- Really? Mm-hmm. I want a bungalow with an ensuite bathroom. Do you think confidence is going to get that for me? She lives in a fucking bubble. A happy little rainbow bubble where nothing ever goes wrong. Can you imagine if she had any tragedy in her life or do you know what I mean? She'd fall apart. Just put all those bad thoughts out of your head, Lisa. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, thanks for waiting to the end with me if you did. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.